Heartland is a collection of poems written by primary school children after visits to various heritage sites in Mid Ulster, including Balachi Bawn, Knockmany Passage Tomb, Listen House, and Turkane Sweat House. The project encouraged pupils to explore their heritage while improving their literacy. Balaki Bon is an old castle. Everything is amazing. Dungeons, towers, and the scary spider cobwebs like candy floss. Looking over Balaki's amazing town. Lovely views from the lookout tower. Amazing bricks made from bam clay. Great fun we had. Happy faces as we learned all about Balaki back then. Young people listening to Seamus Heaney. Built for the safety of our town. Awesome buttresses built to support. Windows made from old bubbly glass, noisy birds tweeting. The project is about local children getting to know their local heritage sites. We selected the sites and then we contacted the schools which were closest to them and asked them, would they like to get involved in this project? Eight schools said yes. They came and they got guided tours of the sites from experts, but they also had the involvement of the Children's Writing Fellow, Myra Zapp. Myra visited the site and then went back to each of the primary schools and conducted writing workshops with the children. Dark and scary, Belaki born in the fortress of frightfulness. Walking in cobwebs, I feel my heart beating faster and faster. Too much fright. Old rusty bars and dungeons dark. Lots of spiders. Look out, there's a cobweb behind you. Big towers and small ones. How great is it now? It couldn't get much better than this. Crumbling walls falling, I can see birds in sight. Bits of red brick on the ground. It's more than just the visuals. It's the tastes and the sounds and the smells and everything else that goes along with experiencing a landscape and experiencing somewhere like Balahi. And that's what Shimatini did so well. And we have seen that the children from Balahi Primary School and from St John Bosco and from the other primary schools involved in the project, that they have been able to do that too. They were submerged into a sensory experience and they created works of art in the poetry that really reflect that. The response has been very, very positive. It's one of the 20 recommended summer reads recommended by Damien Smith from the Arts Council. A lot of visitors, local visitors and also visitors from all over the world have picked up this book, taken it home and hopefully gone on to visit some of the sites as well. The children have discovered a lot about the, their local heritage sites. They're now sharing the information with their families and with their friends and hopefully with the local communities as well so that everybody can get to know these heritage sites that much more.